pre-Achilles bursitis. Some people will call this a retrocalcaneal bursitis, but there are two bursa that you'll see at the back of the heel, an anatomical one that sits in front of the Achilles and, a, and um, an adventitious one that can develop retro-Achilles sub-Q. So I much prefer the term pre-Achilles bursitis. Normally sits fairly high up on the back of the calc in between where the tendon inserts a little bit more um, inferiorly in the MRI that you can see here a lot of florid um, extra swelling of the bursa as well as quite a lot of bone edema and, and bruising as well. Quick schematic then at the back of the heel obviously we've got a calcaneus here so the Achilles inserts really quite low down on the calc and this is where the pre-Achilles bursa sits here normally very small but as you see on the MRI just before the whole thing gets really quite enlarged and swollen just while we're talking the back of the heel if we see a Hagman's deformity it's up here at the posterior superior pole of the calcaneus anybody thinks anybody anybody with a bump at the back is a Hagman's but it's not a true Hagman's is here um, Ostrigonum sits here so this is where you'll get the adventitious retro Achilles bursa sitting in this layer here which might accompany calcification of the Achilles or a retrocalcaneal exostosis. So in that area, quite a lot going on and that's why we need x-rays and scans to see what's going on. So this case is pre-Achilles bursitis, but you saw on the MRI, quite a lot of bone bruising on the MR as well. So really quite an interesting heel. Just to make my point about the retro Achilles bursa, this is a different patient and you can see from the T1 and T2 scans that the swelling is behind the Achilles tendon on this patient. Aseptic technique of course before any skin injection, here we're using Chloroprep which is the current chlorhexidine gluconate skin prep of choice, though you could also use iodine. And then you can start. You can just... So we're just scanning the posterior heel. So this patient's known to have an inflamed retrocalcaneal bursa or bursitis. If we're looking here, we can see quite clearly we've got a thickened Achilles. We've actually got a pre Achilles bursa, which is slightly back, but more so, we've got this florid bursitis coming off the posterior aspect of the heel. Here's so, the cortex so, of the heel. So George here. never spent any time in the army, so he knows he must point not with his finger but with a pen. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just get back just reorientated. So here is where we're looking at. Here's the retrocalcaneal bursitis here. So you're just the camera. I'm not using my finger now. You can just orientate where, where it's put down. So, the so here is the posterior calcaneus. So what we're looking at at the moment is this is the back of the heel. This so is the skin here. here. Look at me pointing at my finger. Skin here, proximal, distal. This would be Kager's fat pad just here, and this is the bursa coming off here. So basically, that way is up, that way is down. And that way is posterior. So the Achilles is here, and the Achilles is known to be thickened as well, but it's mainly this retrocalcaneal bursa here that's thickened. So, I start can you pass me the uh, needle? John, you want the, the skin needle. prep or the solution? No, the skin prep's done just in the yeah, air, that is. Okay. Very much. And your injectate, George, is? Is Depamedro, and in this case, we're We've got 40 milligram drawn up, but we're laying for 20 milligram. Will depend on how much the bursa is inflamed. So, right. little scratch coming scratch up. Three, now. two, out, and one. So you can just see that. Snoring. I know. I know. You might just hear a little bit of patient feedback in the background. That's the who in the R sign. So we can just see that's where the needle is. We'll just on it there. You can just see here. So I'm moving it with my right hand so you can see that we're on top of it there. Here's our needle coming in just here. Just see that movement there. That's a little bit of pressure. He says using your finger. A bit of pressure now, sorry. There's the bursary Pen. Then, just flowing over the top and we're in. All done. You okay? Yeah. That's it. My apologies, they are a bit sore. <laughs>